Okay, guys. So today we're gonna to solve the problem. Brothers from different roots. So the question says, given two BSTs containing n1 and n2 district nodes, respectively, and given a value x, you have your task is to complete the function count pairs, and that returns the count of all pairs from both the BSTs whose sum is equal to x. Okay. So what the question is saying is, if we given two BSTs like this, and we have to, and we given a value x16, and we have to find if any two nodes, so a node from BST1 and a node of BST2, if its sum is equal to 16, and we have to find the total number of nodes and total number of, you know, nodes that are present whose sum is equal to uh, 16, in this case 16. So for example, over here 5 and 11 is equal to 16, 6 and 10 is equal to 16, 8 and 8 are equal to 16. Okay, so uh, we can solve this problem in two uh, you know, in two steps. So the first step is, you know, taking the n order of both the BSTs. On taking the n order traversal of them, we get both of them in a sorted, you know, sorted manner. So we can store both of them in the individual arrays, BST1 in array 1 and BST2 in array 2. And then we can use a two pointer approach. Uh, I think, yeah, so the two pointer approach, we can use that to, you know, ch uh, calculate the number can find the number of nodes in BSC1 and number of nodes in BSC2 is equal to whose sum is equal to x. So, okay, so let's start. We'll create a count equal to 0. Uh, array 1 is equal to an empty array. Array 2 equal to an empty array. So, for simplicity's, simplicity's sake, I'll make two uh, functions in order 1 and in order 2. In order 1. Root. Uh, yeah, if not root return. So an order of root dot left. In order of root dot left, then yeah, root array one dot append root. And in order of root dot right, sorry, in order root dot right, and this is root dot data, yeah. Okay, so we have to create another one like this for array. We we'll create another one like this. So I'm just doing this for simplicity's sake. You guys can do this in you know one function too, just in one function. So. I will make this in order of traversal 2, 2, array 2, and in order of 2. Okay. So, when doing this, now we can add this uh, in order of root 1 and in order of root 2. Okay. So, this is the first step guys we are storing the elements in an in order traverse in order way so what's happening over here is in first we're doing in order of root one so in bsc one the root one is phi okay so we'll go to the last you know the leftmost element of root one which is two okay and since we uh, since we can't go to its left uh, left element we just return it if it's a none and when you return it we append root dot data to the array one Okay, and then we go to the rightmost element. So three is rightmost element would be so it's so its rightmost element will also be none. Okay, so we just return. So after that we and then we just return to you know three and after returning three we go to its rightmost element. We append three and then we go to its rightmost element which is four. Then we go to five. Then we go to six. Then we go to seven and then we go to eight. Okay, so Essentially, you just get the array in a sorted manner. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And similarly for, you know, the second function in order 2, you get it in a sorted manner as well. 3, 6, 8, 10, 11, 15, and 18. Okay. Now, the second step is using the two-pointer approach. So i is equal to 0. j is equal to length of, of 2 minus 1. Okay, so while 
as length the length of uh, of one and j is greater than or equal to zero then f a r of i plus a r of j is equal to equal to x then count equal to one else f a r of i a r of j Yeah, is less than x then what we do is an i plus 1 plus equal to 1 and else we just do a j minus 1 and yeah we just return count in here return sound okay on uh, let's just check it out first and then I'll explain the code Okay, so uh, in order of root one has an error. Oh, okay. I'll just move this here then there. Okay, so running now. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, on running the code. And submitting it. Okay, it's submitted. Okay, so, so what I did over here in the second step is, so the first step, we get the sorted arrays. So let's look at it like this. So ARR of 1. Let's remove this. Okay, ARR of 1 will be equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And error of 2 will be equal to 3, 6, 8, 10, 11, 15, and 18. OK? This is array of two. So after sort, uh, I mean, you know, storing them in an in order way, we get the sorted array. We basically get a sorted array. So array one and array two are already sorted. So now what we're doing is we're assigning i is equal to zero and j is equal to length of, you know, array, uh, array of two minus one. So the length of this array is three, six, seven, seven. So it's six, j is six and i will be zero. So what we're doing here in two pointer approach, We'll first check if i is, you know, less than the length of array minus 1, which is 7, and if j is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so both the steps are, you know, clarified. Then we'll check if arr of i plus arr of j. So in this case, 2 plus 18. Is it x? So 2 plus 18 is 20, which is, uh, you know, less than x. So we'll reduce this to reduce j. So j will go over here and i will be still here okay now again checking 2 plus 15 we get 17 which is greater so j goes over here now we check 2 plus 11 which is 13 so since 13 is less then we do an i plus 1 okay now we check 13 and 11 which is 14 again we do an i plus 1 then we check 11 and f 11 and 4 which is 15 which is again less so we do an i plus 1 then now 11 5 and 11 is 5 and 11 is 16 okay so after doing a 16 then we increment the counter by 1 and reduce j by 1 so if you reduce j by 1 we get 10 and 5 which is 15 so incrementing this so it's 6 and 10 is 16 we increase increment counter by one which is two now and then decrement j so now six and eight is 14 so we increment the i by one 
7 and 8 is 15 which increment i by 1 and 8 and 8 is 16 and 8 and 8 is 16 we increment this to 3 and this goes over here uh, yeah this goes over here okay and so if you see this guy is the so this i is in the last position so we you know get out of the loop and we return count as three okay so yeah guys that's how you solve the problem and if you like the video please do like share and subscribe